Welcome back, Blade fans. This old sword with you. And it's Kubi time again. I like it when it's Kubi time. We always see something a little unique as they have many different designs, if you haven't noticed already. Just check out my Kubi playlist. So, um, got this one in. Not brand new uh, to the design world. Been out there for a little while. Comes in a few different versions. This is kind of the mid-range. Uh, coming in at a retail price of 99 bucks or thereabouts. This one came from White Mountain Knives. And uh, kudos out to Justin up at uh, White Mountain Knives. And uh, don't forget... To get your 10% off by using my discount code Old Sword. So here we go. This is the model 235F, also known as the Nova. And you get your Kubi microfiber cloth. You get a little informational thingy. And here we have a really nice, handsome titanium knife titanium handle d2 blade so nothing real fancy uh, but still they're they're getting that price point for it probably because of the titanium um, hardened steel insert blue titanium clip and ah, titanium hardware too so for that titanium hardware you're paying a little bit more got a very nice forward finger choil and uh, some excellent jimping short run of jimping right at the heel of the blade really uh, neck of the blade whatever you want to call it Rides on or stops on a single stop pin and bearings. Very smooth, not completely drop shutty at this point. This came in a day ago, but a very ergonomic handle with that forward finger choil. A nice relief here for the frame lock get at it really easy close it that way close it that way got a little design feature here um, really too shallow and too smooth to be used for finger flicking at least not for me if you got uh, fingers with a little more grab than mine you might be able to do that my hands are kind of smooth too much keyboarding, right? Now, we have a built-in lanyard pin at the very pommel end of the knife. We have two standoffs. The rest of it is open construction. Nice blue pivot. And I want to show you something uh, that I noticed on a completely different knife. This is the 237 Carve, also by Kubi. Very similar finger choils. Look at that. Very, very similar. And we have um, fuller going down the top there. No fuller there. Just a very high grind. And a little bit of an interesting swedge that sort of makes a uh, kind of a Nike swoosh there. At least that's what I'm seeing. 
nicely machined out interesting handle angular almost trapezoidal with a nice line running down the side and again a usable blade finger choil so you can choke up no problems in any hand position really So we'll do a few quick specs. I uh, can't find complete size measurements, what have you, all in one place. So we'll do our own. It's not a small knife. It's about, we're going to call it 8.6 inches overall length. And um, I'm going to call it um, 375 on the blade length and uh, about 3.6 on the cutting edge because of the choil. In millimeters, we've got, we'll call it 3.5, 3.4, it's okay, rounding off. And 0.5 exactly half inch on the thickness of the handle and how about the weight it's not that heavy not at all 3.49 ounces 495 and thinking of that are we milled out on the inside of the handles Get a little less yeah we definitely are we have a trapezoidal um, bridge girder looking sort of an arrangement on both sides and that's skeletonizing that milling on the inside certainly keeps the blade light I should say the knife light Taking a look at the Kubi Nova next to the Griptilian, we find that it is certainly a larger knife by maybe an inch overall with a longer blade as well. If we size it up to the Rat 1, it is we're going to call it the same size as the Rat 1, so it's that big. And one more, Benchmade Freak, same size. And again, against its brethren here, its brother, against the Kubi Carve 237, it's a lot bigger. We switch them around, get the perspective different. Yeah, you can see we've got a pretty good size advantage with the Nova. Is it the Casanova? No, it's just the Nova. Nice knife. I think it'd make a good EDC, good working knife. And um, as I recall, I think there's a higher end version of this. There may be a blacked out version as well. Check out White Mountain Knives. I'll leave a link in the description. And you can find that out. So hope you enjoyed this review of the Kubi Nova. And we'll give you the number one more time. 235F. Don't forget to give this review a like and subscribe. Thank you so much. This old sword signing out.